So in this video, I wanted to go over the infamous L cars back here, right there. That that little guy that you see on that monitor, I want it working in Linux. I'm gonna show you how to create a screensaver service using scripts and system D, and then utilizing Wine to go ahead and use Windows 98 and Windows XP era screensavers, those .ser files. Now obviously this is just for fun. I don't recommend doing this in the business or anything crazy like that. This is just uh, to uh, cut loose a little bit and just show you all the possibilities and the things you can do in Linux, which uh, I just absolutely love. So let's get into uh, testing, installing the screensaver, and then going into the service creation to where you can always have a screensaver sitting on your Linux box, which is just Fantastic, so let's get into it. Okay, so on our desktop here, we go to mihu.com. This is the originator of the System 47 Star Trek screensaver. So really cool, uh, neat deal. So if we come into here, come over to download, we're going to download this. Now, this is made for Windows 9X or Windows 95, Windows 98, uh, Windows NT, Windows 2000, and even XP. So this is really, really old. Uh, it is also made for Mac back when power PCs were a thing, if you remember those days. So very old, but it still works. Actually, this probably works better on Linux than it does on Windows. That's how awesome this whole setup works. So we're going to click this, it's going to download it, and we'll just simply extract this and uh, go from there. In here, we'll go ahead and extract this, and it's just a setup file that we need. So I'm just going to pull this over, and it's just sitting in our downloads. Now, the first thing we need to do is make a wine bottle for system or LCARS system 47. So let's uh, pull up terminal and we'll start making this wine bottle. Now, obviously this is gonna be a 32-bit wine bottle as 64-bit didn't even exist back in these days. So we'll make that really quick. Uh, we'll go ahead and say uh, wine arch for architecture, Win32, this says Win32, and we're gonna go ahead and call this one L cars. The dot before it basically hides it. So uh, that's what we need. And actually, let's go wine prefix equals forward slash dot L cars. This puts it in our home directory under the dot L cars one. It's kind of out of the way, so you're not gonna see it in directory listings and everything as you do it. And then we're just gonna go wine config. This will basically make the wine bottle for us. And then we wanna go ahead and set it to Windows XP, obviously, as uh, we don't want it running on a recent version of Windows. So we'll just go Windows version come down to XP. I think seven would be fine, but I like to do this because it creates that, that wine bottle and it works pretty good. So now that we have our wine bottle made, we'll simply launch this executable in our downloads. So let's go to downloads, do a listing. You'll see that uh, system 47 setup exec. Now I like to rename those because I don't like spaces. It, it can get kind of uh, cumbersome. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to just name this lcars.exe. So from here, we have the wine bottle already made. So we'll just go wine prefix equals home forward slash dot lcars. Uh, this puts it in the lcars uh, prefix. We'll run it as wine. And then we're just simply running this lcars.exe file in wine. So we'll go ahead and do this. This will install it onto uh, this system. So we'll go ahead and hit install. Now it didn't actually launch. That's all right though. We can we can still configure this. So with LCARS done uh, installed on our wine bottle, we can now go ahead and launch it. Now this is kind of an interesting way of doing it. We'll actually need a, a secondary tag to basically say, hey, this is a screensaver. So let's go ahead and uh, figure out where it is in this wine bottle now. You can go ahead and drill down in using your file explorer, whichever suits you, but we'll go dot L cars and go ahead and drill down. I'm just gonna get the path name from this. In system uh, 32 at the bottom here, we should have a file named system47.scr. And we do right here. So this file is what we actually need to do. It is case sensitive. So make sure you remember it's capital S and then we got 47.scr but I'm gonna take this entire path and we're gonna just go wine 
prefix equals home dot l cars and then we're going to go wine and then we're going to paste this long one now i like to just go ahead and do this just in case there is a space somewhere in there technically there shouldn't be but uh old habits die hard so we'll do that and then we'll just go system 47.scr just like that now there's one last trick to get this screensaver to work and that's the forward slash s for screensaver i <laughs> At least that's what I'm going to say it's for. I just know this is the actual trigger I use to make it work. So this entire line, it uses the oil cars uh, prefix, the wine executable to launch wine, and then the screensaver uh, to launch. So here we go. And there we go. We got a... Uh, <laughs> Windows 98 style screensaver on Linux. Kind of cool. Okay, so now that we have the installation and testing done, um, I went ahead and copied all of the commands I've done so far and put them into here so you can. I went ahead and changed this to where you could actually just copy paste this right into here. Um, a couple typos I need to fix just yet, but by the time you watch this, I'll have all that fixed. And so we're done with the installation and testing, coming down into screensaver service. There's a couple dependencies you need to install. X screensaver and X print idle is used by this script. Uh, I took this script from, I think, the Ubuntu forms. So a very cool script. I went ahead and modified it a little bit. This will fire off this screensaver with five minutes of idle time. If you want it to like be more than five minutes, go ahead and change the five right here under idle time to 10 minutes or 60 minutes or whatever you want. You can set it to eight hours. It doesn't matter. You can use all those. Everything in here should be pretty much set. The big things to do is replace Titus with your user. So I went ahead and put my wine bottle right into my user folder. Technically, if you're going to use this over and over, you probably would want to set this up under like the USR folder or something like that. But for this, I like it under my user folder because I really only want this working when I'm using the computer. So if you want to just do this one for one, you totally can um, just replace Titus right here, right here, and you're good to go. Those are the big things because the .l cars folder is the wine bottle we'll be using. So you probably created it in your user folder. So that's why you need to actually specify it uh, where my user is actually Titus. So uh, same thing down here for service creation. And let's get into this real fast. I'll show you both these files and where I put them. Um, and you can put them pretty much wherever you want on the, the network drive, it's fine. Uh, just know you will be referencing it. So. If we look in here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of this and clear, go to home and do it listing. You'll see the lcars.script. This is the first thing to do. What this script does, and I'll walk through it real fast, is it exports the display, it says, hey, you wanna display on zero. Um, the idle time right now is set to five seconds, um, just so we can actually do a testing of the service without having to wait five minutes and then having it pop up there. Uh, after I'm finished here, I'll probably just go star six zero, and then it'll be at five minutes for the timeout. Um, and then the wine prefix, everything else is pretty much already done. So we'll go ahead and uh, exit this. I don't need to save any buffer. And then we also need to create the service so it launches this script. So this script basically just always runs in the background and it just is always gauging the idle time on your PC. So uh, let's go sudo etc systemd system. So I'm nanoing etc systemd system lcars.service. So we'll type in our root password, launch this. Very simplistic service here. All we're doing is running this bash script. So we have the description. Actually, I didn't even <laughs> remove this. I should probably actually label it correctly. Uh, this is actually LCAR's screensaver. For the description, it's being run as user. So instead of running it as root, which we don't want because it's actually interacting with the display, we want it interacting with Titus, the user I'm on. It'll be your username for, for you. And type simple, actually, I don't even think you need the type. I think that actually I just added or it just came with uh, what I added from the template. Um, and then execute start. Now you need dash bin 
or bin dash bash, you have to specify bash because there is no path in system D because there's a good chance this is running before path variable is put in there. So the full path for, for bash bin dash bash home, your user, I'm using Titus, of course, and then the L cars dot sh that we just created. So we're just referencing that script file. That's pretty much it. This is the most basic service known to man. Um, now you could put this in another folder if you didn't want your scripts running in there. Technically, I'd recommend that. I would recommend like maybe a scripts folder under your home so you know all your scripts are in there, something like that. Uh, however, for this video, we'll just leave it like it is. So once that's done, you want to go sudo system control daemon reload. This basically reloads your services, says, hey, is that there? And then we go system control start lcars dot service. I just went ahead and did a tab completion and it completed it for me. So with that, I'll hit enter and then I'll just do a hand count and we should see the actual screensaver pop up. So let's see what we get. And that was five. Ah, there we go. Boom. Startup sequence initiated. It goes ahead and does it. Cool thing. I'll move my mouse and it resets the count. So we can just go ahead and count to five again and five and we should see boom there it goes very slick uh very easy to do so you can use this screensaver to your heart's content uh neat little deal now if you want this to start on startup well, you can just go enable l cars like this it goes ahead and makes the sim link everything for you so now this will start whenever your actual Linux is up and going. So that's kind of really, really neat. Obviously, I think your your user will need to be logged in though. So uh, important to note. Uh, with that said, I do need to edit that script. Holy Toledo. So uh, I will need to stop that service. And I made it just so I can just nano right into here, add that little delay, just like so. Write that out, start it back up. And now I can just wait five minutes and it'll launch that screensaver really neat way to incorporate the old school screensavers from like windows era in linux uh using wine a lot of people probably have a fit over this but uh, i don't care it's just so darn stinking fun and cool and eh, you know sometimes you just gotta say hey i want to have fun today and that's really what this was all about so that was all that you need to know about L cars, service creation, using scripts, all these really fun things in Linux, which is great. So uh, I absolutely love this. I hope you really enjoy it as much as I do because uh, being able to bring back all these old nostalgia screensavers and things and, and use them on your Linux box, it's just a heck of a lot of fun. So with that, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And as always, thank you to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next video.